right, this is fifth grade, lesson 50, and this is on finding an average, okay? Now, I think this might be the first time you've ever done this. I'm not sure, okay? But let me show you what average is, okay? Um, last year, I think I did pancakes. Um, I'm going to do glasses of water first, and then I can do pancakes with you, okay? So let's say I have a glass of water right here, okay? Three of them. Okay, and pretend they're all equally the same, okay? Let's say this one is for Daddy, and this one's for you, and this one's for Isaac, okay? Now, this one had four ounces in it, okay? Remember that OZ, those ounces, uh -huh. and that Z, okay? Yours had seven ounces in it, and Isaac's had seven ounces in it, okay? Now... It doesn't seem very fair for dad, does it? Okay, and so us finding the average is very helpful because we basically find a balance for everybody. Okay, mm -hmm. so when you're finding an average, you're finding an equal amount. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take all the water and pour it into this one. Uh -huh. So, how much do I have all together? How many ounces? 18. 18. 7 plus 7 plus 4 is 18. Okay? So, we have 18 ounces. Okay? So, my first step was I added all of them together. So, add all together. Okay? We did that. Step number two is this is my total amount, right? Now, I'm going to take that 18 ounces and pour it back into these three. How can I do that evenly? Uh, Each was the key word. Divide. Divide. Divide what? Um, I'm not sure. I'm going to take the total amount of water, or liquid, 18, and I'm going to divide it into how many cups? Three. Three. Okay? So my second step is to... Take the total amount that we found, add all together, which is called the sum, and then I'm going to take the sum and I'm going to divide it by how many glasses there are. Uh -huh. Okay? So three goes into 18 how many times? Uh, six. Six. Very good. So dad will get bumped up and get two more ounces, and you and Isaac have to take away an ounce, and everybody is happy. See that? See how we did how many that? Ounces? Of 60. So everybody got six ounces. So instead of four, everybody gets six. Okay? You understand how it works? Yeah. Pretty cool. All right. Now, pancakes is another one I did last year. All right. Daddy. Eli, Isaac. Okay, you're going to help me figure this one out. <clears throat> Daddy has four. Four pancakes. Eli has six. And Isaac has two. That doesn't seem very fair, does it? No. No. Okay, so what should I do first? We should add it all up. Add all the pancakes together. Okay. And that would be 12. 12. Very good. Okay, and then what do I do with that total amount of pancakes? 12 divided by 3. Very good. And? And 4. Very good. So, Dad would keep his, and you would just give 2 to your brother, and everybody has 4. Did that? All right. All right, let's do one more. This is actually what teachers do when they're discovering your score for your report card. Okay. You ready for this? Brad's test scores are 80, 85, 90, 90, then he made another 85, and then he made another 90. All right? And they want me to find out what is the average score that he makes. So we're taking up all of these scores and trying to figure out what's the, the um, sum. About, yeah, well, not the sum. We're wanting to know the average. Rounding. Uh -huh. We're going to find the average. This is what average is called. Okay. So, remember the pancake?
cakes and remove the liquid. What's my very first step? Um, adding a roll. Add them all up. Five plus five is ten. Carry the one. Eight times three is twenty-four. Plus nine plus one is ten. Ten and twenty-four is thirty-four. Plus nine is forty-four. Forty-three. Four hundred and thirty. Yes. Okay. <laughs> now, right? Now remember, I got the total amount of juice. And then what did I do? Uh, you divide it by five. Uh huh. This one has five scores, so we would divide it by five. Very good, Isaac. I mean, you know, you're learning. Okay. So let's go. Here we go. Five will go into four. No. Will five go into four? Three. Yes. Five. Nine times five. Nope. A little bit over. Past it. Let's do 8 times 5. 8 times 5 is 40. Subtract. 3. Bring down. 5 will go into 30. 6 times. 6 times 5 is 30. And we have come up with an even. So, what does Brad typically make, or what's his average score? 86. It's an 86 about average. Okay? So, that's what he would get on his report card. Okay? Isn't that cool? Yeah. All right. Okay, on here. Actually, we'll just do the rest of them.